Hi, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all to my channel. Now, today's video was supposed to be Water Street Vintages Booth Refresh. Unfortunately, life got in the way and today I'm going to give you guys a haul video. So I'm going to show you some of my great finds, but I'm also going to show you a couple different shops that I stopped at along the way. Um, I did buy a couple things at the shop, those shops as well. And um, I also want to give first and foremost a big shout out um, to a subscriber. So I was so fortunate enough to have received an email from Sandy and she said that she had been thrifting and she found some really awesome items that she actually knew that I would love. And uh, so she shipped it off and I wanna tell you, I like screeched when I opened it up because uh, I'm like, wow, she must like totally know me. <laughs> I know exactly what I love. Um, I, first and foremost, I opened it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have never seen anything like this. So it was a can opener. I, um, if you haven't followed along on my channel, I am decorating in my kitchen with all like vintage items amongst the, like the whole area of the kitchen. I'm just putting out different items. So this is like the coolest. I have never seen anything, like I said, like it. And, uh, but don't you guys love it? It's like a vintage can opener. Um, I, it's called Edland Jr. Uh, so it's an Edland Jr. can opener and it is definitely going to be displayed in my kitchen. So I want to thank her for this. She also sent along this little mixer and one of my favorite colors is turquoise. So I love the handle. Um, but uh, so I was so super excited about that. And then she sent along some really fun stuff that she found clippings in a newspaper or like a magazine, I should say. And one was all about rolling pins. And I just have to show you all, this is like the coolest thing. Hopefully there's not going to be a glare. Um, but I want to make one of these for my kitchen where you have all the rolling pins on the wall like that. So... I thought that was so cool, um, but it just shows all different. Oh, here's another really cool display in the kitchen, all up and down the wall. So I thought that was really neat. Um, this one too was um, about shutters and um, showed all the different boards hanging to here. So I was just so appreciative. I thought how sweet of her to think of me and my little collection. So um, I have the best viewers um, and subscribers out there. And I just want to thank you all. I appreciate every one of you. And I couldn't be here today without you. So thank you. Um, so I wanted to show you guys that. And to start off uh, my little tour, so on the way to Water Street Vintage is a cute little town called Wapaka. And we, anyways, we were driving. Um, first, we were going to swing by, uh, like I said, Water Street Vintage. So we were taking this route there. And my mom says, I think that was an antique shop. And I'm like, yeah, it looked really super cute. So I said, oh, what the heck, we have time. So we swung around and it, we hit up this super an cool, cute antique shop. The oh, She just displays things so beautifully, you guys. If you have the opportunity to go see this um, little shop, I would highly recommend it. Um, I am going to have all the or information in the description below, um, but I'm going to show you some clips. I did buy a couple things. Uh, the first thing I bought uh, for my kitchen, I collect these. I, this one is a little bit taller than my normal ones that I collect, but uh, I paid $12 for it. I absolutely loved it. There were a few other pieces um, that I'm thinking about going back for. So one of the things that I collect, because I am a master gardener, if you remember um, back in like, I want to say the olden days, but <laughs> back when um, you use the old school brass um, nozzles for your hose, I have a collection of those in my greenhouse and I'm always adding to them. And so she did have a few of those and I was like, do I really need it? 
and then I'm like trying to talk myself out of it. No, I don't, but now I think I do. So I'm gonna probably be going back and getting those. Um, the other thing I did buy, and it was for my husband, it, well, and me too, but my husband loves going out and testing out different Bloody Mary mix. Um, we're always uh, are, are really good friends of ours, another couple, um, and the two of us like to go to different establishments that claim they have the best Bloody Marys and hit them up. And so I saw this mix. It's called Texas Established 1934. Bloody Mary mix. So we're gonna test this one out this weekend. I'll have to give you an update and tell you how good it is. So I got that from her shop, but I'm gonna um, show you now her cute little shop, you guys. You're gonna love it. What did you guys think? Didn't you love her displays? I just thought she did a great job displaying different pieces um, in her shop. Uh, I love getting ideas too on how to create different displays in my different uh, vendor booths just by looking at um, different shops like that. So I definitely will be going back. I loved the Wapaka sign. It was amazing. Uh, even though I don't live in Wapaka, I just thought it was so cool. I wish they had like an Appleton one like that. <laughs> so I wanted to show you that. Um, and then I, at Water Street Vintage, I did find a few things too. Um, I don't ever, like I'm, I feel like very rushed when I go there. So I go and I, um, basically set my booth up or get into my booth, straighten things up, add product. And then I'm out of there. And so I thought, I'm going to take just a little bit of time, walk through Water Street Vintage, see what I can find. And um, the first thing I'm go I found was this cute little brush. And I just thought it was awesome. I am going to be redoing um, when you... Okay, so where my fireplace is, uh, or that mantle that I built earlier, um, you walk up our stairs and just the whole up the stairs really needs a redo. The stairs do, so there's carpet there now, it's old. Um, I'm thinking about ripping out the carpet and redoing um, the actual wood stairs themselves. And then um, hang, I found this really awesome piece and it, it has these like little wood knobs all along and I thought it would be so cool to be hanging different pieces from that. So that is one of the things that I'm like looking for. Anyways, I found this and I'm just like, I have to have it. I um, saw something in a magazine with all these little bristle brushes or little brushes. And so that is one of the things I bought. I think I paid $6 for it. So such a good deal. Um, and then... I paid $8, I think, for this, and I just loved it. I love the green handle, and I actually have one like that, but I just thought it would be very cool um, to have another one somewhere in the kitchen. So um, I love green, and so those are two of the items that I also got there at Water Street, and then I got this matching set. So here's one little suitcase, and... Here's the other suitcase. 
I do like the green. What I plan on doing with this is I plan on painting, I'm gonna try to paint this part of it. And um, IOD has the, the paint inlays, which are new. So you paint one coat of paint, you then put the paint inlays, or you paint a second coat. When that paint's wet, you put the paint inlay in there. And um, there's this one, it's called Rose Chintz, and I just think it's gonna look perfect on this. So I'm, that's what I plan on doing with it. And I'm going to be putting it in one of my booths. So I ended up paying $12 each for the suitcase, um, for each suitcase. And I thought that was a pretty good price. I, I just loved them in the minute I saw them. So I got that. Then I had heard about this shop called Loot. And it is very, um, it is, uh, in Wapaka. So, um, we, that's why we ended up going back to Wapaka or going to Wapaka, um, was because I had heard about this little shop called Loot and the items that they have in there are amazing. <laughs> they have it so well, just, just all the displays are just top notch. Um, it is, it's just amazing. The pieces there are just I ones that you don't find anywhere else. Um, and there are a couple pieces that I definitely want to go back for. I, I was like, I just, I'm like, I felt very under the gun. Like, do I want it? Do I not? I was, I was just planning on checking it out to see, cause I heard such great things. So I am going to show you a couple clips here of the shop, but if you ever get to Wapaka, Wisconsin, you definitely want to check out Loot. So here it is. guys think I loved it I honestly wish I had a shop just like it I uh, I think that it's a uh, owned by a husband and wife and they opened it up I talked to her briefly she said she opened it up through like during COVID I mean what a time to open a shop so um, they bought the building um, the building that I believe was like an old mechanic building it is so cool and it just has a very awesome vibe to it. So definitely check that shop out if you are in that area. Uh, there's also another antique shop right by Loot and I didn't get a lot of footage from that. Um, it is called Antiques on Main. So that is another really cute antique shop. And then right next door to Loot is actually um, like a candle type shop. And we went in there as well. And um, it is like a destination candle shop. So all the scents, um, the individual who makes the candles goes to different locations and uh, remembers what that smell smells like and creates a candle. And it is so cool. Um, plus the building is a historical building and we found out that it used to be the bank and um, the original bank in Wapaka and the bank owner had been murdered and she tells this whole story and I will actually put the link or the information below as well in the details but my mom actually went out and was going to buy the book but it, the book about the bank was $90 so she found it at the half price bookstore 
So she's actually going to buy the book and read it. And then I'm going to read it after she's done. But it sounds extremely like interesting and just such a history. So um, after we left the Wapaka area, we I had some coupons. I got uh, some more 25% off coupons that are had to be used by January 31st. Um, a fellow viewer as well sent me one. So I had four coupons total to use and I went and hit up a local Guildwill on the way home. So I want to show you what I got. I'm very excited about this because I definitely need some new items. Um, so for starters, I found this piece and I don't necessarily like the color and it looks like it might have been already refabbed or, you know, somebody tried to paint it. So I think I'm going to, I'm not really sure yet, but paint it somehow to make it like bright and fun for spring. I paid $3.99 for it. It's metal. So I loved it. So I got that. Um, I want to show you this so I don't forget it. Um, I ended up, my mom set, found these for me. They were $6 and they are legs to something. So you can see they have um, spots on the top where you can screw into. And I just thought they were the coolest. Um, so I want to show you this detail on them right there. So I think I'm going to be making some sort of table of, I don't know yet exactly what, but some sort of really fun table with some up like uh, some vintage wood of some sort. So that I found. Then I found uh, these and actually I think I might have gotten ripped off. Well, I can't tell if it was $4.99 or four, it probably was four, well, maybe $4.99 or $14.99. But um, there were two of them and I just thought they were very fun. So I thought I could either keep them for myself I paid $3 each um, to put different, maybe like paint, like lay my paintbrushes in there or even put little jars with something sticking out um, in my studio or put them in my booth. So I found those. Um, I love just like different clocks and having displays with clocks. This one was um, $6 and I just thought it was very cool looking. I even thought I could refab it somehow. My last one sold immediately that I had. So um, I, ha I found actually, I think two in this trip. There was another one I did, did not grab. And then I found these baskets. These were $4, so $3.99. Uh, I even like the inserts. I think I might take them out and then paint the chicken wire, like the same type of cream possibly, or even a different color to make them pop and then leave these little inserts in. Um, I like the lace. I think it's very feminine looking and just, it's just really sweet. So I ended up getting two of those. I liked them. I thought they just um, would be a really good asset to my boo. Um, okay, so here's the other clock. I like these. I don't like the gold. I ended up getting it for 99 cents. The original price was $6. I'm going to paint this one probably the same color as I paint the other one and then have them displayed together. I got three of these little wreaths and I paid $2.99 each. Uh, I do want to, I've been like looking for wreaths that were inexpensive that are smaller like this. So I can create um, a set of three. Um, I want to do three windows for my window stash and um, make spring um, wreaths. So I, I'm always looking for different uh, um, wreaths like this to create an, you know, like a, a spring, a fall or a winter wreath. It just, it's nice to have the grapevine. So I grabbed those and then I found this and I just thought this was pretty. It was like a, it looks like milk glass in a way and it was $3. It was so pretty. I just grabbed it and put it in one of my booths. And then I, the funny thing is when I was 
um, first moved out of my house, I had so much brass and I got rid of it all. And now I could just kick myself because brass is definitely coming back. And I found this little brass candlestick for a dollar. So I grabbed that. I thought, what a good deal, a dollar. So that one, that's all for that. And then I found this little cutting board. Uh, this one was $3, so super cute. I thought I could do something possibly with it or just leave it. I just liked it. Um, that. And then if you guys remember, I had talked to you about how um, I wanted to do a display in my kitchen with these old molds. I found two of them. And from the comments that I got, it sounds like this green is like definitely one of the colors. And so is... Um, that tannish color. I was hoping there would have been like an orange or a turquoise or something. So I might do like, I think I mentioned it last time. I might refab one of my own just to make some other colors um, and then just dress them up. So the metal comes out to make them look like they've been used as well. Uh, and then I found this little brush. I just thought it was really cute. 99 cents. So um, it just reminded me of something that I could put in my bathroom redo that I'm going to be doing up in our master. And I found these little, this little set and I paid, I think it was like $2. I think it's for like, uh, uh, okay, so I have to say it correct this time, guys, a charcuterie board. Did I say it right? I got ripped to shreds for saying it incorrectly. Because in my mind, when I looked at the word, I do not know why. I just thought chartreuse. I don't know. So um, I try, but sometimes I fail miserably. So it's a word. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, so I think it might be for that to cut different cheeses and like have spreads. So I thought that was super cute as well. Um, and then I found this basket. And this is one of the items that I actually used my 25% off. And I loved it. It just, it's so vintage looking. I just think it's just, I love the coloring of it. It's nice and big. It's in really, really good shape. Um, it was original $10. It's huge. So you can put basket, or I mean, blankets in it. Um, so I, I loved it. I'm not going to keep it for myself, even though I would love to. It is going to go to probably Water Street Vintage is where I'm going to probably end up putting that one. Then I um, I have a thing for birds in my gardens. Um, all year long, I feed them. I'm always looking for little bird houses for spring so they can have their little babies, um, different feeders. And so this one was only $3.99, so like four bucks. Um, it says homegrown cedar products. I don't know how much it would have been new, but a lot of times these feeders are super expensive. So I thought, what a great deal. Um, I found another basket and I thought this one was so cool. It's a, you hang it. Um, so whether you hang it like maybe on like a front door or a front porch um, and you put something really cool inside, I ended up this one was $8 and I, or $7.99, and I did use my 25% off on this one as well. The nice thing about the, the Goodwill was not busy, and normally you have to get back in line each time you use one of the coupons, but because it was not busy, she let me just do separate transactions for these at the end. So that was very nice of her. And then I have, oh yes, two more boards. I liked them because they had these little holes. I just thought they were fun. And I ended up paying $3.99 for each of them. So this one and then this one. But they were just super cool. I liked them. And whether I keep them for myself or put them in a booth, who knows? Who, who would know? And then I found so much cool glass. I like to try to find like items. Um, so the um, in my last haul video, I showed you how I got those vintage pink um, pictures. And I ended up finding some different pictures as well. And I thought this was so cool. I, these two I wanna keep for myself too, but I can't. I have to put them in my booth. These were uh, $5.99, this one was $5.99 
but don't you just love I just love the whole the whole top and how it's the pouring part the spout or whatever you want to call it I love that I don't want these to break let's see we're gonna just start setting them here because there's a bunch of glass in here so the next piece of glass is this one too and I just thought this was very very fun and this one was $3.99 so the prices were actually really good I sometimes question um, some of the prices but the prices were really decent and now this is when I got really excited because this is going to be a really cool display I found one of these um, decanters a while ago and it sold like immediately when I put it in the booth. Now, I think these are all like crystal. They're super duper heavy. And I used the remaining two coupons on these. So these were $7.99, but they're just beautiful. Like they're like got cut, like the glass is like kind of like real decorative there. I just loved them. So I grabbed several. So this one is like a little shorter and I think these are going to look so cool all like by each other. <clears throat> then there's this one. Again, it's more of like a real fun shape as well. And I can't, there's one that's my favorite, this one. Um, I love all the decorative on the, the glass. I think it's just very cool. And here's the taller version of like that smaller one. I thought there was one more. Or maybe, oh, yep, the square one. And then look at that top. Remember I got those tops last time at the the bins, I bet you it was for something like this. Some One of my subscribers wrote that, that it was probably for that. And that is it for the decanters. And then I ended up finding this blue pot. I love it. I am definitely keeping this for myself. There's no marking, well, actually there is. I'm not really sure what it says. There's a marking here. I really don't know what it says, but I, I really thought it was cool. I loved it. It was only $4. So I grabbed that too. And then I love pottery. It's signed. And actually I've seen this signature before. Maybe it's upside down. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was so cool. And it was, I think this was the half price. I asked my mom like 10 times, what is half price? So I think I paid three bucks for that one. So that, and then, oh, I found this for $2 with one of those little tops on it. I just thought that was very cool. And then I also found this, and you guys know how I love turquoise. I found it with the little top. And this one was $3, so I got that. And then I ended up finding this chair. And it's kind of like, it's not, it's a, a taller chair. So it's, it's got longer legs than a normal, you know, normal. I loved the chair itself, but it's missing this piece of it. So I think I'm going to be on the lookout for a piece of that and trying to redo that. Maybe even learn, um, maybe watch a YouTube video on how to put one of those um, seats back on here. Or another thought is I could just take a board, cut it around, and, and actually um, recover it and then just screw like screw it to that you know from underneath screw it in on it so i was thinking about that too there's several ways i can do it um it obviously had i'm trying to think of the name like a wicker type of seat i'm not sure if uh, i'm able to do that but i just thought it was really cool it was in really good condition i paid five bucks for it and i just thought it was neat i even thought too with when i redo it or paint it even like putting a word, like a word up here or something fun, just a saying of some sort. I just thought it was fun. So 
that is what I got on this haul this week. And I have some exciting news too. So I, um, last year, if you, you can go back and watch the video, I did a show at my friend Wendy's house and it was amazing. And now show season is going to be starting and in like January and February, all the applications get sent out. So I did receive my application for Cranberry Fest, which has been my biggest show ever. So I'm signing up for that one. And I am also going to sign up for, re-sign up for Wendy's, which will be May 20th. And hers is called Antique Acres. I am going to put a link in the below um, of her like Facebook page where you can find information out about Antique Acres. She'll be hosting it May 20th of this year. And it is awesome. She's got the most amazing barn that the Amish built for her. So that is another event I'll be doing. Um, Cranberry Fest will be the first week in October. And then I'm also going to do, or well, I'm going to sign up. I don't know if I'll be accepted, but it is in Sister Bay, uh, Wisconsin. And it is up in Door County or what we call our Door County area. And I am going to try to do that as one of my big events. It's a three-day event. So those are going to be three of the events that I will be doing this year. Plus, I'm going to be on the lookout for one more event because remember, out of my goals, I was going to do four big events for this year. So with that said, um, I just want to thank you guys all for following along. Tomorrow, I am doing an event. I'm going to be at Water Street Vintage in my booth. And they are having this thing called Dicker Days. And I guess you can like chat with different customers um, with my items. Everything in it is like I just am putting it in. So I don't know if I'm really going to. My husband's like Dicker Days. <laughs> but it sounds like an awesome event. And I'm super excited about being um, part of it. Uh, all the vendors are encouraged to be in their booths to meet the customers. Uh, so I'll be there talking about my barn quilts, about my IOD, all that good stuff, and about all the products that I'll have in there. So tomorrow I am going, oh yeah, to, okay, so today, Friday, when this is being released, I am going to be stocking the heck of it, vid, you know, videotaping to get my booth um, as set up as I possibly can to show you guys for next Friday. All right, well, you guys have a great weekend and we will see you Monday. Bye.